Hello, Miss Woods here. I am going to show you how to answer our warm up discussion questions. You will be expected to write in a complete sentence. So let's get started. So here I've opened my discussion warm up question, and it says, Miss Woods was making a bouquet of flowers. She uses some roses and some tulips to make her bouquet. How many flowers did Miss Woods use to make her bouquet? All right. Yeah, funny French word, bouquet. It just means a group of flowers. Now, when we're reading this, we have to read it three times. How many times are you supposed to read it? Three times. Three, three, three times. So we're going to read it three times. The first time we read, we're going to think, what do I know? The second time we read, we're going to say, what action is happening? Action is what's going on. And then the third time we read it, third time, we're going to make a plan. We're going to think about what are we doing? Are we putting it together? Are we separating something? Are we comparing? Let's do that. Are we putting it together or combining? Are we separating something or are we comparing? So let's read it the first time. Miss, or the second time, actually, we're on our second time, but we're going to act like it's the first time. Miss Woods was making a bouquet. Stop, slash, a punctuation. So even though you don't have this to write, you can just think about stopping every time you have punctuation. Now, is there anything in that sentence that is giving me information for a math problem? Hmm. Well, I know she's making a bouquet, but that's just telling me a little background about the story. So let's keep reading. She uses some roses and some tulips to make her bouquet. Okay. Hmm. So I know Miss Woods is going to use some roses and some tulips to make her bouquet. Oop, punctuation. We're going to stop and slash. Now the question. 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 How many flowers did Miss Woods use to make her bouquet? Well, there are no numbers in this problem, Miss Woods. I know. So for the first discussion questions, we're going to focus in on what's happening and leave the numbers out of it. Okay? All right. So how many flowers did Miss Woods use to make the bouquet. So we're looking for, this is what we're looking for. My little eyes here. We're looking for the number of flowers she used. Well, what types of flowers did she use? Tulips and roses. So now let's go back into our discussion because we have to type the information. So here it says, the first thing that you need to type on the first read, it says, what do you know? So you need to type this statement out here. I know that. So here in the discussion, we're going to put, I know that. Well, I know that Miss Woods is using roses and tulips. Then the next thing it asks us, it asks us, what are we finding? 
So we have to go back to our question and figure out what we are finding. So let's find our question. We're finding what? How many flowers? I am finding the number of flowers Miss Woods used. Now our second read, it says, what action is needed to solve, such as combining or joining, separating or comparing? Looking at two things and saying, this one is something compared to this one. That's comparing, guys. All right. So let's see what we're doing. So Miss Woods has some roses and she has some tulips and she's making a bouquet. Oh, look at my hands. What is it I'm doing? I'm taking the roses, I'm taking the tulips and I am combining them. So let's look at our sentence stem. I am combining because I have roses and tulips to make a bouquet. Very good. Now the third read. We have to make a plan. What operation matches the action we described? Is it addition or is it subtraction? If we putting things together and combining, that means it's addition. Very good. All right. And we're going to use our sentence stem. Make sure you're using your sentence stem when you're typing in the directions, all right, or the answers. The operation I would use is addition because I am combining the tulips and the roses to make a bouquet. And then you're going to click post. And it'll have your name, it'll tell that information, and then we'll be able to see it. Awesome job. All right, that's what you have to do on your discussion questions.